the altitude is very hard. The hardest training I've ever done in my life. But I know it's going to be worth it because if I can fight up here and train hard up here, then I go down and I, I'll be even fitter than I've ever been. I've got no easy, easy fight ahead, and I know that. But winning is a mindset. My mindset is that of a winner. And I'm not so sure about Deontay Wilders. I've beat world champions before. I've beat undefeated men who were supposed to beat me. Who was supposed to beat Wilder in ever in his career? Nobody. So I don't believe that he has that, the mentality that he can go into a fight as an underdog and, and everything's going wrong for him and still pull the fight out of the bag. Ben, they say that when the fighters come back from training, they go and socialise, you come back and you put on YouTube and you study Deontay Wilder. What sort of things are you looking for? I'm looking for his decision making. I'm trying to study him so much that I feel like I know what decisions he's going to make before he knows he's going to make them. I'm not going to give anything away, but um, he's a very, very good fighter, but he, does, uh, he has habits and I know what he likes and I know what he doesn't like. I am outshining him 10 to 1. You know, I go down to Big Bear, I meet my brother Shane's here, and he'll, he says the same, like, he says to people in the gyms and stuff, have you ever heard of, like, Deontay Wilder? No. Who's that? And then he says, you know who that is? Yeah, that's Tyson Fury, heavyweight champion of the world. I don't know how this is happening in his own country. People in America don't know who Wilder is, but they know who Fury is. That's crazy. Wilder has got one of the most unpredictable styles in boxing people say he's not even sure what he's going to do. So how hard does that make your job? I know what he's going to do. I've watched him over and over and over and over again. It's not that unpredictable. Uh, if you watch him enough, you'll know what he's going to do. But he's just very quick with it. He's very quick when he does explode, but very light for the weight. And uh, the, speed is, uh, the speed is his main asset and agility. They're both stylistically hard fights for each other. They're both freaks in nature. It's going to be a tough fight for both men. It's not something I tend to do, to be honest. Visualise the fights over and over again. Because I don't know what I'm going to do before I even go in there. And that great fella said, a man with no tactics or game plan is a man on the road to nothing. But I've got to disagree because I've not followed many game plans in my boxing career, but I'm still undefeated. <laughs> I believe you've got to do on the night what, what comes natural. Like I say, whatever your opponent does well, don't do it. Give him the opposite of what he wants. Fight when your opponent wants to move and move when your opponent wants to fight. The only reason that people are talking about this fight as being competitive is because I've had two and a half year out the ring and ballooned up to 28 stone. If I didn't do that, this fight wouldn't be a competitive fight. The comeback, being out all that thing, going up in weight, the story behind it is a movie. This comeback, beating Wilder after the timeout and after the wait and everything else that goes with it, it's a fairy tale ending. Even better than defending me titles when I had them. A man goes from rags to riches, loses it all within a year, but wins it back again all within a year of his comeback. How great of a story is that?